Southwest Philadelphia mother has turned to the investigative team after she says the medical examiner's office mistakenly cremated the remains of her teenage daughter. Investigative reporter Chad Perdelli goes to the city looking for an explanation. The family waited weeks to bury their daughter, Ashe, only to learn she'd been cremated. They say they never gave consent to do so and want to know how it happened. That's my baby. I wear it every day. Aisha McCord keeps the cremated remains of her daughter, Ashe, close to her heart. It's beautiful, so. Everybody loved to say wherever she went, everybody loved her. Born at just 27 weeks, Ashe had cerebral palsy and suffered from seizures. But despite her challenges, she was like many 16-year-olds, tough to get out of bed. In April, after repeated calls to wake up, Ashe didn't respond. So mom ushered her young son to check on her. And he's like, mom, she's cold. I'm like, what? He's like, mom, she's cold. So I'm like, stop playing. I go in there, she's cold. Police and paramedics responded. Since Ashe was a minor, an investigation into cause of death was launched to rule out foul play. And the Philadelphia medical examiner took the body. Committed what I consider a, a disgraceful act and did not properly code her in their system or keep track of who her next of kin were. Attorney A.J. Thompson represents the family who is suing the city for alleged negligence. McCord says for a full month after Ashe's death, she, Ashe's father, and other family made repeated calls to the ME's office, trying to learn the cause of death and reclaim the body for burial. They say they received few answers, only that an autopsy was pending. Then, after 41 days, all they gave to Ms. McCord was a certificate that she had been cremated in a box. They did not give her a death certificate, did not give her an apology, certainly, and not give her an explanation as to how this happened. McCord says the ME's office told her Ashe was listed as a Jane Doe, despite constant communication between the family and a forensic investigator with the office. I said, when you called me the first time, I gave you all her information. You asked me about her doctor, who the pediatrician was, who were neurologist. I gave you all that information. And they said, oh, because we got her down as a Jane Doe. I said, how? The medical examiner is not commenting. In court filings, the city is trying to have the case thrown out, claiming government immunity. McCord and her attorney want answers and change to prevent this from happening again. Anybody who hears this story will agree it is a, a, a huge disgrace and stain on the medical examiner's office and the city. Ashe's death certificate lists complications of prematurity as cause of death, but no secondary causes. I'm Action News Investigator.